Hey YouTube, welcome back. So hey, real quick, so this is kind of part of my episode vlog series here on Blue, but kind of not. I'm gonna go ahead and um, upload this separately because it's very important. Um, as you all know, a vehicle that does not have turbos manufactured in it off the, uh, off the manufacturing line, and you go to add these, depending on how the build is, how they're attached to the headers and everything else, determines whether or not these turbos are hold. And I'm not saying that, you know, Baloo's gonna be doing wheelies because I don't plan on him doing wheelies or, or a track truck or nothing like that. So the friction of it hitting the ground, the turbo's falling off, probably not gonna happen. But what's important in this video is I'm gonna go ahead and show you how uh, using a little bit of scrap uh, angle iron laying around your garage or around your property, your house, uh, put this together. It's a fail safe and ultimately you're going to assure yourself that, you know, th there won't be a, a heat crack later down the road if there is stress on your turbo. I know mine is not going to have that, but it looks good. Um, it looks professional. And at the end of the day, it is assurance. So I can sleep good at night knowing that I don't have to wake up the next morning and experience a crack in my exhaust. So here's what we're doing. All right, so what's important here is making sure your metal's clean, free from oil, grease, and debris, so we get a good contact on, on the welds here. So I'm just gonna hit it up with this wire wheel, get it all nice and sanded down, and then we're gonna take it over here, get it spot welded, come back and check it, see what it looks like. All right, so I got it held up right now by the magnets, but that's ultimately what it's gonna look like a little bit better now that it's trimmed off and uh, this housing here will line right up with that bolt hole. I'm gonna go ahead and round off all these edges, make it look more symmetrical. We'll get her all painted up, but then that's gonna be that bracket. Let's go over to uh, bench side, let's get it tacked. All right, she's all welded up there. So as you can see, I did it to where it supports on one on one bolt. You might ask why not two? And that's just because I've already displaced this turbo at its lowest point where um, if there's any type of uh, friction or pushing down, this is as low as it's gonna go. So I'll bolt it in, okay? I'm gonna bolt this in here. And then what I'll do is I'll press down a little bit with uh, the weight here and go ahead and get it cinched down on all four bolts. And then we'll have proper, uh, proper uh, sturdy structure to keep that turbo support. All right, so now on to the passenger side. So this one's going to be just a little bit of a different setup. Uh, it will st it still have the four bolt attachment that I have here. But what I'll be doing is I'll be mirroring this just like the other side over here. The other side is flipped this way. This one's going to be here. But instead of the cold side of the turbo, I'm actually... I have to attach this here on the turbo housing itself right here. So once I get that supported like that, I will, what I'll have to do is go ahead and cut this bracket down. Let's see, get a good view here, about right here. And it's going to be attached by this bolt right here for support. Um, and again, that's just because of how this engine is placed. It's, if you look at the center line right here, okay, it's probably over about a good two inches. So that's why I can't do it on the frame rail, which I wanted to do. And I went ahead and opted out on the block and I'm just gonna go with the wheel wells cause they are sturdy. So uh, let's go ahead and get this passenger side here mocked up and we'll be back. All right guys, so here's the washer that actually came off the housing. Uh, right here, I'm just going to use this to kind of mark uh, where I want this this completed, and I'll just use my step bit, and uh, let's get it drilled. 
All right, she's all done. So what you probably noticed here is I had to take uh, a little bit of my uh, sand disc here, the flap disc, and sand it down a little bit. But uh, after the step bit, got the hole done, it's ready to go. And then what I'm gonna do is center down with uh, these four holes here, one, two, three, four. Uh, first and foremost, we can get her all painted up and then we'll, we'll attach it. And I'll come back here momentarily, I'll show you what we got. All right, it's attached now. So let me go ahead and show you what we got here. It is level sideways. And it is level front to back. Good to go. We'll go ahead and pull it off, put some paint on it, and reattach it. All right, a few hours later, paint's all dry to touch and uh, everything's back and tightened up. And I will say, uh, definitely added assurance, not going anywhere. Doesn't matter how you move the truck. Like right now, it's, I'm just moving uh, the suspension up and down. No play, no nothing. Perfect. Hey guys, this is a wrap. So appreciate you following all the way through. We're going to go ahead and turn this one off for now. Add it to your favorites. I hope this helps everyone out there that had questions or couldn't find the particular video that they needed to um, help, you know, support their turbo on their, on their vehicle, depending on what they're driving. So again, it doesn't matter uh, how good your headers are built. It's just an added assurance. So this was my DIY method today, just using some scrap angle iron. Uh, I hope it helps someone out there um, that's looking for maybe a chassis mount. Because uh, you can do, you know, engine mounts, frame mounts, of course. I chose to opt in a uh, chassis mount just because of the locations of where my turbos are and the huge playground that I have for my engine bay. Hey guys, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up, hit the thumbs down. Either one is fine leave the comments it helps support my channel helps the algorithm um, and it just lets me know guys what you guys appreciate or what you don't like what you need add added information of so um, thanks for following along today I appreciate it today's video on how to support your turbo until next time God bless